My name is Tania Rodriguez. I'm the owner of Los Churros del Norte. And this is how the Weber State microphone say my business. My parents brought me from Chihuahua, Mexico, 20 years ago, looking for the American dream. When I graduated from Ogden High School, I went to the tech school to become a CNA, but I found my passion in the kitchen, cooking for my family and friends. I work a few different jobs like restaurants or being a DJ on a Spanish radio station. But like I said, my happy place is in the kitchen, so I went back to school to study culinary arts. When I work for other people, I always did my 100%. But deep down, I wish to one day own a restaurant. I love my culture and our gastronomy, so I decided to do something about it. I made a decision to start a churro business. Churros can be a challenge for many people, including me. It took me seven years to master my recipe. I cried many times when they were not perfect. Now my churros are made from scratch, by hand, and they taste just like a small piece of my beautiful country, Mexico. When I bite into it, I travel to my childhood when my grandpa or my mom bought a churro for me. They sold them at plazas, and they were the best. Making churros gives me the opportunity to share something special. Things had changed, and I was able to own a churro mobile and go around the city to different events and meet so many amazing people. Until one day, my truck that I used to haul the Shiro Mobile broke down. The repairs were too much. I couldn't afford to fix it or buy a new truck. I have never thought about failure, but this time I was close to it and it was nobody's fault. It was the circumstances, life. One of my friends told me about the Wildcat microphone and I applied. There I met an amazing person who became my mentor. He helped me tremendously with my presentation. I couldn't have done it without him. With a microphone, I was able to buy a new truck and continue working at events like Ogden Farmer's Market, boutiques, and Monarch events. The most fulfilling part of being a small business owner is that I am a step closer to making my American dream a reality. My advice to other people is don't be afraid to dream. Be afraid to not do anything for that dream.